Well, now I want pizza, but if pizza's not your vibe, maybe it's chocolate. We're sharing the love on Valentine's Day and chocolates. Well, they're a given for the holiday, and one local store is getting ready for one of their busiest days of the year. Here's First News reporter Megan Lee. Daffin's Candy has been around for more than a hundred years. They sell everything from homemade chocolates to taffy to cards and gifts. And of course, they have a special treat that's only sold a few times a year. Our main focus is our chocolate covered strawberries because we only make them three times a year. So Valentine's Day, we sell probably about 2,500 pounds of strawberries. The retail manager tells me that they've been preparing for quite some time. Well, we start right after Christmas. We go full force into Valentine's Day. Um, and produce every day. Unlike many businesses in the area, Daffins tells me that they're doing okay when it comes to staffing. They are able to produce enough candy to keep their shelves stocked and their customers happy. We were fine for Christmas. We brought them all back for Valentine's Day. Um, we've luckily been okay. I mean, naturally, we could use more help, but we're managing with the staff that we have. We have a great group of people that. Um, you know, that have been working here for a long time. When it comes to supply chain issues, the store is seeing some impact. Packaging, we've been having problems with some of our boxes and um, that type of supplies. The supply chain shortages Daffins is seeing isn't affecting anything on the shelves. They have got a full store in preparations for Valentine's Day. One customer tells me that he was able to fill his heart shaped box with no issues. He found just what he was looking for. Everything and then some. And Jana pointed out some stuff that I never saw before that, you know, some pineapple squares and orange slices. Orange slices. The Daffins in Sharon is the only location taking orders for chocolate covered strawberries, and the staff is expecting the store to be pretty busy the next few days. In Sharon, Megan Lee, WKBN 27 First News.